Hi there. Welcome to the Middle Sized Gardens first of the month in the garden. Now, around the first of the month, I go out into the garden and I go right round it and see what's working and what isn't in the hopes that it'll help you in your garden. So let's go. And this is February and it's dawn. This little patch needs a bit of tidying up, but I think it's very shady and I think it works well in winter. Uh, we've got the leucogium coming out there and leucogium are an amazing uh, plant. They flower for little white flowers, rather like large snowdrops. They flower for ages. And then here we've got uh, cyclamen leaves and they're so, so pretty. And then over to the right, we've got peace lily coming up. It's just over there. And um, I think if I had my time again, I wouldn't put two variegated leaves together because you don't really get the best of them. Um, however, um, as a patch, it, it does has a bit of light in this really shady corner of the garden. There's no doubt that the star of any winter garden has got to be topiary. I've got this one topiary spiral, which I bought from a field in Dorset. And those trees at the back uh, were just ordinary trees. The, the holly on the right was just a, a lump of shrub which has been cut into a topiary shape. The other two trees are something I bought as just young whips for I think about £40 each and I'm slowly training them into something that would cost £500 each if I was to buy them new. Although of course it has taken me about seven years so that is what you're paying for is to get the effect instantly. Most of my gardening recently has been clearing weeds and debris so that the bulbs, especially the snowdrops, can poke their heads through. Also, this large Helleborus fetidus, this is on the bottom right of the frame, has self-seeded everywhere and although it's sculptural and it does have attractive white flowers, it's turned into a bit of a bully and is covering up both the snowdrops and the more delicate Hellebores. So I think that's got to go too. This area is good at this time of year. I like the contrasting red stems of Cornus alba elegantissima and the orange stems of Cornus midwinter fire with the white bark of the silver birch and the white snowdrops. I love this area now because it's shaded in summer by the birch and the Cornus and nothing much goes on then, but now it's a bit of a star. And here's the veg garden. I'm a great fan of Charles Dowding's No Dig videos. And this February looks very busy in the diary and I just don't think I'm going to have much time in the garden. So I'm taking Charles' advice and covering my veg beds in black horticultural polythene sheeting. It'll starve the weeds of light and help warm the soil for when I have time to start planting in March. I bought it for £1.50 a metre at a local garden centre and have simply secured it with bricks and heavy pots. Much easier than weed. Join me for next month's first of the month in the garden. I think the changes between cold, windy, rainy February and the beginning of March will be absolutely amazing. Uh, so if you're new here, do subscribe. We upload on Wednesdays and Saturdays and uh, let me know what sort of gardening problems you have and what you'd like to see. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you.